when he released this, I immediately hit up some of my friends over there. I'm like, hey, what is it? And they're like, we can't leak. We can't leak, but it's going to be huge. But I know that I've been getting blown up by every reporter um, from, from every major outlet calling and asking me to give them the insight, tell them what it's going to be. That is his major announcement. Many thought it would be political. Many thought it would be about maybe uh, creating a new party. I mean, there was so much speculation on this. Uh, but it's not that. It's a digital trading card. Wow, wow, wow. Trump's big announcement that he hyped up turned out to be nothing more than NFTs. And even I, as skeptical as I am, thought that this would be something bigger, more consequential. But nope, it was NFTs, just another attempt to grift off of his base of support. And I've got to wonder, at some point, is he ever going to be done milking them i mean he's drained them for every dollar that they have but of course he's never gonna stop and they're never going to stop giving him money but when it comes to something like this something crypto related does his boomer audience understand it will they see value in a 99 dollars poorly photoshopped photograph of donald trump i don't know but i love the response because he really did hype this up America needs a superhero. That little teaser right there was enough to get everyone talking. Here's what one of his supporters said in response to that announcement. Breaking, Donald Trump put out a video saying America needs a superhero and that he will be making a major announcement in all caps tomorrow, December 15th. If I had to guess, I think it could be a big VP pick announcement, but let's see what happens. <laughs> Now, Eric Bowling of Newsmax, he said that as soon as he saw this announcement, he reached out to people closer to Donald Trump, some of his sources to see if they would dish. But he says that they were very tight lipped. Now, let's also hear some speculation from Eric Bowling prior to the announcement. But, but no, I, so when, the, when he released this, I immediately hit up some of my friends over there. I'm like, hey, what is it? And they're like, we can't leak. We can't leak, but it's going to be huge. And they were literally saying it's going to be a big announcement. So I'm thinking, what could be that big? It's certainly not that he's not going to run because they wouldn't be promoting that. It's, he's, it's something big. And I, I don't know. I thought, like, he's going to announce a VP. Well, what would be the, a huge announcement? For me, I think Elon Musk would be a major vice presidential ticket uh, announcement. Could be an Elon Musk VP announcement. Look, I don't think that you're unreasonable to think that he'd be announcing his VP pick, even though it's this early. But Elon Musk, Eric, really? Come on. Now, I want to get to another Newsmax segment where they speculate what it could possibly be, followed by the breaking news of the announcement. And when we get to that point, it's the second half of this clip that we're going to watch. Just listen to the tone in their voice, um, both of their voices. There's two anchors here, a male and a female. And you could hear that they are gutted, like the disappointment is palpable. Um, you cannot put a video like that where you've got lasers coming from your eyes and a, and, and a Hogan Gidley six pack there um, and, and then not make... <laughs> And then not make a very big announcement today. We don't know when this announcement is going to come down. What do you think? Fun fact, he actually does look exactly like that when his shirt is split apart. I've heard that. I've been on with Air Force One late. He takes that shirt, and that's exactly how his physique is made. Look, right. um, I'm very interested to see what this announcement is going to be. I, I for sure thought he was going to announce uh, Rob Finnerty as a vice presidential candidate. I haven't heard. No one's called me yet. I keep checking the phone. I, you know, but they do things the last minute, Rob. So don't don't count out because you haven't heard anything yet. This is one of those classic Donald Trump things. Look, I'm not exactly sure what he's going to announce. I know we talked about in the first segment the potential that he jumps back on Twitter. Who knows? It seems like uh, this is a, a, a very well-produced video and very Trumpy video for him to announce just something as simple as that. But I know that I've been getting blown up by every reporter um, from, from every major outlet calling and asking me to give them the insight, tell them what it's going to be. But if anyone knows production value, if anyone knows how to make an announcement, if anyone knows how to, to tease the press and troll the press, it's Donald Trump. So I, I can't wait to hear what he's going to say. To hours later all right breaking news right now here is that announcement the major announcement by the 45th president of the united states um he says this my official donald trump digital trading card collection is here uh these limited edition cards featuring art of my life and career you can collect all your favorite trump digital cards very much like a baseball card but hopefully much more exciting 
Um, he says, don't wait. I believe they'll go quickly. So uh, that is his major announcement. Many thought it would be political. Many thought it would be about maybe uh, creating a new party. I mean, there was so much speculation on this. Uh, but it's not that. It's a digital trading card. It's 99 bucks, and he said it would make a great Christmas gift. So, oh, there's a bunch of them. Interesting timing for that. Yeah, oh, there you go. That's that. There's the announcement. There you go. There's the announcement. <laughs> I love this. I, I think that the one Trump story that I love maybe more than this is when he endorsed two of the same candidates with the same name, but didn't disclose the last name. So he kind of just left them both guessing. Sometimes Trump can be unironically funny. And I don't know if he's doing this wittingly or unwittingly, but either way, you've got to love it, right? So his announcement is NFTs. And I want to take a moment to look at some of these N NFTs because they are pretty, um, we'll say, interesting. I don't necessarily know if they're worth the $99 that he's asking, but let's look at him here and I'll let you decide for yourself. So you have uh, a cowboy version of Trump with a gun playing real life duck hunt, presumably. Uh, you have him as a superhero in a boxing ring. There's one of him playing golf. He has lasers coming out of his eyes in one of them. Um, he's winking and giving two thumbs up in front of the Statue of Liberty. Nice. He's also wearing the Dow hat in one of them with the stonks going up. And then there's one of him pointing in front of the Hollywood sign, but it says Trump world. Now, there's a few more that I want to show you. But before I show you these additional ones, I just want to remind you that these are supposed to be based off of his life and career. With that being said, let's look at some other NFTs from him. There's one of him as an astronaut in space. I definitely remember when he went to space. Uh, there's one of him as a professional race car driver, a cowboy. Uh, there's one of him with a lot of gold, certainly, you know, the everyday man here. Uh, he's standing on top of the earth in what appears to be a Top Gun uniform. He's holding a football. There's one of him in a boxing ring. And going to graphic three here, you can see that they gave him an entirely different body. And I'm just so impressed by the quality of the art here. These really are incredible. And I am feeling a little bit of FOMO here but I'm gonna have to hold off, even though it is indeed tempting. Now, he released a two minute announcement trailer for the NFTs and he kind of goes over how for every purchase that you make on this website, you're going to be automatically enrolled in a sweepstakes program to win either a Zoom call with Donald Trump or dinner with Donald Trump. Now, I'm just gonna play a really short clip from that video, we don't need to see all of it, but in this portion, he goes off script, you can tell, and then even he is unimpressed with the prizes that they're offering. Watch. Here's one of the best parts. Each card comes with an automatic chance to win amazing prizes like dinner with me. I don't know if that's an amazing prize, but it's what we have. It's almost like he's in disbelief that that's all that they're offering in terms of prizes for a $99 picture of him. And he's finding out in real time that that's all that they're offering. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Amazing prizes like dinner like me, uh, like dinner with me, excuse me. Uh, I don't know if that's an amazing prize, but it's what we have. So, uh, I don't know what to say. I would like to hear Trump off script explain what an NFT is. Um, I think that somehow he would be able to capture the stupidity of NFTs, but either way, this is great. Um, I don't know if he's going to sell out, but it'd be hilarious if he did. And um, it would also be hilarious if the people who bought them, like none of them ended up winning the prizes. And this was just another effort to scam his own followers, who I guess he's never going to feel guilty about doing that too. So either way, that's the announcement. It was a huge flop. But I've got to say, I'm glad that he hyped it up as much as he did, because that made the disappointment just that much worse. So um, yeah, I've got to hand it to him. This was a banger and I, I surely appreciate what he did here. So don't miss out folks, cop your Trump NFT today. I'm looking at the one where he was an astronaut because um, I remember him going to space because <laughs> these are based off of his life and career. It's just so stupid, but um, I mean, it's very on brand for Donald Trump. So yeah. I'm gonna come. Do not come. 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 Welcome to the Come Zone. Come. 
Come. Come.